This is Wild Chronicles. In the U.S. Gulf of Alaska, a National Geographic funded scientist is researching a fishy problem. It's here that fishermen, while watching sperm whales circling their boat, realized that deep down, these big-headed marine mammals were up to something. When it first started, we didn't, uh, we didn't think that they may be taking the fish. They were just showing up around the boat, and we were blown away by them. It was cool to see these massive creatures just 25 feet away from us. And we saw one, one day, uh, dive with a couple of our hooks stuck in its tail, and that's when we really knew they were rubbing the line. They were probably taking the fish. It seems sperm whales had figured out how to pick fish off the hook. Anchor over! This is called longline fishing. A cable with some 6,000 hooks is laid on the ocean bed and then pulled up hours later. The catch is known in restaurants as butterfish and is increasing in popularity. Also increasing are the number of sperm whale encounters with long lines. Although they're considered endangered, these whales are no longer hunted extensively. They have a big appetite to match their famously big head, eating about a ton of squid and fish a day. And now they have a reputation for filching fish off lines. There were us hooks, fish hooks found in sperm whale stomachs that had been harvested off the Shetland Islands in 1904. So this may have been occurring as long ago as 100 years ago. The industry estimates sperm whales nab up to 20% of fish caught on long lines. And in some areas of the world, those numbers are significantly higher. So in a unique program, fishermen and scientists in Alaska are working together to save the catch and the whales. National Geographic grantee Aaron Thoth has been monitoring whale activity with underwater hydrophones. So what we're about to do is we're going to drop an anchor in about 500 meters of water uh, and basically tape this directly to the rope. So the hydrophone here records sound that we attach to the long line. It's very compact, very portable, and completely non-invasive. Sperm whales are extremely vocal. Thode believes they may use echolocation to find fishing vessels and their lines of fish. He's captured amazing underwater video of sperm whales honing in on their tethered prey. Thode suspects that changing the shape of the line may throw hungry whales off course. It seems like the attachment of certain objects to the long line, like a longer ganyan line, a piece of plastic tubing, or even just a fluttering metal disc, would cause a difference in the acoustic return from the fish and uh, might cause a change in the animal's behavior. Changing the profile of the long line has had mixed success, but scientists like Thode will continue to work with the fishermen in an effort to find a solution. Some fishermen complain the marine scientists view them as an enemy to conservation. But in this project, everyone is working together. Sperm whales have huge heads and the largest brains of any animal in the world. So it could take a concentrated effort to outsmart them.